Hi, I'm Dr. Govind Nand Kumar. I'm the chief of gastrointestinal surgery at Columbia Asia Hospitals Bangalore. The rectum refers to the large last portion of the large intestine and this area is unique in that it sits in the bony pelvis. So in a male, pelvis can be quite narrow and tumors that arise in the rectum are referred to as rectal cancer. The management of rectal cancer is a little bit different than the management of colon cancer and truly requires the presence of a multidisciplinary team it requires the presence of a radiologist a pathologist a radiation oncologist a surgeon an oncologist an interventional radiologist and the entire team to be working in sync how a rectal cancer may present initially is very similar to colon cancer and uh, it could present with bleeding sometimes we say discomfort or tenesmus when you're going to the bathroom you could have change in your bowel habits so that the stools are becoming thin and pencil style any of these things should prompt a evaluation by a specialist and ideally with a colonoscopy once you've had the diagnosis of rectal cancer you would have uh, at the very least a biopsy a colonoscopy a ct scan and one of the most important things to decide for rectal cancer is to decide whether or not the patient needs to receive radiation before surgery patients who have advanced rectal cancer by that i mean ones that are larger deeper or have lymph nodes would benefit from having radiation before surgery the surgery again can be done with a minimally invasive approach wherein we make a very small incision to remove the tumor and complete the surgery and the patients are up and about within the first few days of surgery we also have new tools to address very early rectal cancers or precancerous lesions with a device called a tamis or transanal minimally invasive surgery this modality allows us to remove tumors without making any incisions on the body and using the natural orifice nevertheless one of the most important things in seeking care for a patient with rectal cancer is to ensure that it is done by a team of specialists who are used to taking care of this particular disease process on a routine basis thank you